After learning that Kamono Digital Farm, the company they invested in, was allegedly apprehended, the investors cry out for the money they invested, saying that after the firm was shut down, the directors never communicated to them concerning what was going to be done, and that whenever they try calling their phones, go unanswered. One of the investors, Julius Mulenga, says he has been in the business with Kamono Farm for two years, and the firm owes him 15,000 kwacha. He also laments that he was supposed to get his profit on June 19th, but that was the day the firm was apprehended. So, the very day Another investor, Raymond Musesa, says the government should be involved with business companies which affiliates people in order for them to be protected from such schemes. And when the director was called for proper explanation, his phone went unanswered. There we came to the offices. In fact, for me, I came because I saw the, on the news the apprehension of uh, the directors of this uh, Kamono thing. So today I decided to come here so that if I don't maybe... I wanted in fact to terminate my contract, but to my surprise I just found people here and uh, these people they are not to be found. I think in Zambia we have got wings that can help out with this. There's no way people would do squander and steal people because people they have invested a lot of money in this. They've come pretending to be a genuine organization and They've been telling us, no, you'll be paid this, even me, I have a contract, it's here. That I did with them, I invested with them as well. So after I saw that, I watched the news that they, are, they were arrested, I got concerned. And I realized to say, no, it's better maybe I come and terminate my contract. But I've come here, these people, they are nowhere to be found. So please, we have the, the anti-corruption commission in Zambia, the police, our president, we know that you are doing everything possible to make sure that such kind of habits should, should not repeat themselves in our country. Zambia. So if people, the only thing they would think about is to steal people's money. Like my brother here, is a, he has invested, I don't know if it's about five different kind of shares that he, he bought with them. Now imagine how many people, because I remember even me the day I came here, I found masses of people here. People they struggle to look for that money to invest so that at the end of the day, you can make some hints, you can make something out of that and try to, to stabilize yourself. Now, here are a group of culprits who just come and, uh, you know, decide to steal people's money and just disappear like that. Now, imagine these people, they're everywhere in the copper belt. Because for me, the person who connected me to this is in the copper belt, who actually said, no, there is this and that, even Lusaka, they are there, in each, everywhere they are. Now, imagine how much money that they have stolen from the, the, the poor Zambian people. I think this is very unfortunate for us as a people, most especially us who have bought shares with these people. So please, the government, our president, we are kindly requesting that may you go to the root of this issue. Porting for Movie TV News in Lusaka, Vanessa Chibu.